All right, we're underway. Uh, just got done getting everything together. Let me see if I can hold this for a second. Pulling out of the parking lot. Uh, already <laughs> worked up a sweat. Had to carry in some mulch for, for the missus. But anyways, uh, here we are pulling out and we are on our way to do Tecumseh Trail. 42 miles or more like 39 the way I'm going to do it. Uh, with my parking situations and pick up and drop off uh, unless there's some you know detours or alternate routes that add to it but we're gonna get really close to 40 so quite an adventure compared to the overnights I've been on so far so anyways uh, uh, we'll check in uh, later I need to drive the car right now um, okay uh, here we are uh, at the car uh, getting ready to leave we me here I am uh, this is the uh, backcountry parking lot it's pretty uh, small I don't know if you can see behind me there it's just uh, a few cars uh, this is where I'll come back to once uh, Jane picks me up uh, at the end of the trail so it is about uh, not sure I'll tell you in just a second I'm gonna turn the camera around hold on okay uh, it is uh, 4.14, um, so about quarter after four on Thursday, July 3rd, and this is where we're headed, going down here, um, just so we, uh, there is, if you look, there's the road, and up that hill over there is the actual start of the trail. I am about four miles into the trail uh, right now parking at this lot because for one I know where it is and I'm comfortable with it and also I have done that part of the trail probably seven or eight times in the last few months so I've also done the first two or three miles this way but then it starts to get new and that's why we're going this way so off we go Okay, uh, I've come about three miles or so. Uh, let me back up here. This is where the trail comes out of the backcountry and runs into uh, what I believe is Orcutt Road. It's not much of a road, as you can see. Uh, it's more of a, a fire road, but it does have a name on the map. It's called Orcutt Road. But anyways, you can see the sign here. Uh, the loop, which I've done several times this year, to the left is takes you back to toward the you know Morgan Monroe uh, parking lot and the start of Tecumseh, the trailhead at Morgan Morgan Monroe State Forest office. But we are going this way, which I have never been, to continue on Tecumseh Trail. So off we go.
Okay, uh, just another another uh, little fork in the road. Uh, this this uh, smaller uh, logging road that I've been walking on. Uh, once I turned, I veered right off of Orcutt Road. It it took a hard left, and I kind of went veered to the right onto this road. And uh, this road is now uh, turning this way, and we are going to go to the left here and follow the sign. As you can see, it says Tecumseh Trail. So just be aware of this. This is right after you come out of the back country. You take a right on Orcutt, go down a ways, and uh, take the right, and then you come to this left. And then this puts us back on the trail. And uh, we are now in Yellowwood State Forest. Um, and we are off of Logap Trail, as I showed you before. And you can see now, I've been taking pictures of uh, the blazes uh, back in the backcountry uh, of Low Gap, there were there was a, a diamond and a blaze, uh, a rectangle blaze. The rectangle blazes are for Tecumseh Trail, where you know showing you where it overlaps. But now the diamonds are gone, and we just we're back to the uh, uh, to the uh, rectangle. Sorry, I'm just looking at the trail here. So okay. Headed uh, next to uh, Bear Lake. Okay, uh, here we're walking along the uh, the trail here. This is uh, where we came from. Been coming down a little bit, but we're walking along beside. I don't know if you can see that down there. That is Bear Lake. You can, uh, let's see, try over here. There's some water. Uh, it's kind of hard to see through the camera. But anyways, that's Bear Lake. I'm going to see, I think we get a little closer down here at the uh, very end. But I'll see if I can't get a better shot of it. Okay, so there was a little... Uh, little trail that just leads down just just to right right here I mean this is it it just comes up to BAM Bear Lake very nice just beautiful the breeze is kicking oh I don't know I guess that's the parking lot over there I don't know I assume so and then you know if you want to enter the trail here you can everything is so grown over it, it's hard to tell what's supposed to be what but anyways this is beautiful this is a dam right here this edge so uh, the guidebook said it skirted the edge of the, the the dam so looks like some people are over there gonna do some fishing or something but <laughs> anyways we're gonna move on alrighty I just wanted to get this real quick. Check this tree out. If you look, let me try to get down closer. Look at, there's right there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Look at all of these freaking, there's more down here. Look, here's some more. This tree looks like it was killed almost. I mean, I don't, unless it was just already dead and they just hollowed it out enough to 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 knock it over because it's, it's out of the ground, but that's a trip. I just wanted to catch that on film. <laughs> Crazy. This is where we're heading here. Hopefully, I think I am about to hit a landmark that'll mean uh, cross another road which will mean I am about two maybe two and a half miles from the shelter which is good because I am getting worn out so onward and upward <laughs>
Okay, uh, good morning. <laughs> it's about 6.30. I uh, just got up, uh, got some coffee going here. Uh, filtered that extra little bit of water I grabbed last night at that last creek. As you can see, uh, got the uh, esbit going under there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. Um, that's my uh, ever new 900 milliliter pot and my uh, Bargo windscreen. Pretty good combo. It's all. It all has been. Uh, there we go. It's on there a little crooked. It's all been working pretty good for me so far. I'm gonna make some uh, some coffee here in a second, but. Let me get back here and give you a shot. This is a pretty nice little shelter. It's the first one I've ever, you know, seen and slept in. You can see right where I slept right there. Had a little fire pit. Uh, I burned, uh, I don't know, a couple sticks. I mean, just enough to get some smoke going last night to make sure the bugs didn't bother me while I was eating dinner. Uh, ate dinner right there. And uh, had mashed potatoes. <laughs> And then you can see I got all my crap laid out here. I about to uh I uh, was in the process of folding up my mat and I realized I better get my coffee going. But um uh, I used my little lantern last night. That's my luxury item I brought. It's uh really too heavy, but it's just nice to have. It it's a warm feeling. Um uh, it's it's a Yuko uh candle lantern. But uh anyways, uh We'll be off down the uh, trail here in a little while. It goes down this way, and uh, I'll show you that later. Okay. Okay. Um. It is uh, a few minutes after 7, and we are leaving the shelter and down the path. You come to the uh, sign that tells you you could either go the way we came from, or you can continue south, which, you see the blaze there, is the way we're going. So, looks like Hoosier National Forest is 27.8 miles. Although, thankfully, we are not going there today. We are going uh, about 10 miles shy of there, maybe 11 miles shy of there. So it's going to be a long day. Wish me luck. Uh oh. Okay, um, walking through the woods here. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> I think that was a squirrel. I think I just walked up on a squirrel. Uh, anyways, uh, just thought I'd check in. Uh, let me switch hands here because I'm blocking the, the camera. Um, there we go. I don't know if that's. That looks okay. Um, anyways, uh, I don't have a stick pick or anything cool like that. I need to get one uh, that'll hold my phone because, you know, you can get some cool shots like this. You know, just like put your face in the corner and then show behind you and, you know, like there's the trail, you know. And then um, there's where I'm going right there. Right, right there. So, anyways, carried a little stick to get cobwebs. Woke up this morning and the oh whoa man, that was a huge one. Ha ha, gotcha. Uh, woke up this morning and uh, man, the humidity was like ninety three percent, ninety four percent or something. But I checked the, uh, I switched my weather to local. I, I turned my, took my phone. I turned the Wi Fi on on my phone for just a second. And I updated to the local, local weather. It's Morgantown, Indiana. Uh, so I did that, and I got the hourly forecast from IntelliCast 
uh, uh, com, I think is the name of it. Anyways, uh, turns out it's going to be uh, like down in the 40 percentile by like 10.30 or 10, something like that. You know, so it's quickly going to drop. Uh, so should be okay. Uh, but in the meantime, I've been walking since 7.15 for probably over an hour now. And I am, uh, of course, drenched with sweat just because it's so sticky out here. But it is a pleasant 55 degrees, 60 degrees. It's, it's really nice. So I can't wait till that humidity drops. It's going to be a beautiful day for walking, which is good because i got a lot of miles to do today. I'm going to try to do 16 miles and get to uh, this next campground. So anyways, that's all for now. I'll uh, check in later. Um, okay, just uh, checking in. We are on State Road 45. We came from that uh, corner right there, 400 feet. Uh, and as you can see, I can not get run over here. There is a Tecumseh Trail sign right there. Which, and of course the uh, guide, the uh, guide told me to... Uh, turn here but I tell you what that guide has been very valuable those descriptions Ooh, what a beautiful house look at that isn't that cool you can't really see a lot of it because of the sun but it's uh looks like redwood siding almost and maybe some logs but anyways here's our other marker and we are gonna go south down this uh, this is oh there we are State Road 45 and Indian Hill Road so we are heading south down Indian Hill Road until we cross Bean Blossom Creek, which is where we will get water and we will eat breakfast because we are hungry. <laughs> it has been, uh, I've been hiking for about two hours and 15 minutes. And uh, when I got up, I had a cup of coffee and I just ate a granola bar, but I am ready for a bowl of oatmeal and maybe another cup of coffee. So, alrighty. Um, okay, so uh, I have just come down this road. Uh, this is Indian Hill Road. Um, I stopped for breakfast. Um, I think I uh, shot a little bit there uh, at uh, Bean Blossom Creek, which is at the uh, about a half a mile after you turn on to uh, Indian Hill Road. And some things were going on with the uh, timber stuff. Uh, so basically... They um, okay, sorry. I had to uh, delete some uh, some cartoons and some movies to make some space. But let me try to show you this reroute here. Uh, this is uh, the uh, reroute map. So basically, instead of walking through the woods, I had to come down this road. So not a big deal. I don't think it's saved much uh, mileage-wise. But I tell you, it wasn't a uh, a bad walk. I mean, you know, coming... You know, it was pretty much flat the whole way and shaded. It was it was cool. Plus, I saw some neat old houses and stuff. So, but anyways, we're coming up on Salmaron Road here, and we're going to turn onto that. I need to refer to my guide because there's some weird, uh, uh, weird uh, directions here. So uh, I'll check back later. Okay, uh, I just came uh, out of there 
which was a mess. It, uh, I just crossed um, Lanham Ridge Road, and then you turn. Well, you don't cross it. You come out on on it, and then you go east for a third of a mile. Then you go south on Dubois Tree Road or Dubois Bridge Road, uh, which is gravel for about a tenth of a mile, and then you go back into the woods, which uh, now I'm back in Yellow Wood State Forest, but I just uh, wanted to get a shot of this here. I, I haven't seen, look at these classic lily pads here. I mean, look at that. Those are just like classic with flowers, the, the pink flower, and they're all down the side here. That is so cool. I don't know what lake this is. Um, I really need to take a break, but I think I'm going to check the map and see how far along I am. I still have a ways to go. I've, I'm going to mile 30 to the campsite, so I know I'm just, but my feet are killing me. I need to take a break, so. And it's early. It's not even 1 o'clock yet, so I got time to take a couple hour break uh, once I get to, you know, within 5 or 6 miles. Then I can, you know, rest for a couple hours if I want to, so. Anyways, uh, okay, I'm drifting. I'm going to uh, jump off here and uh, figure out where I, uh, where I am and how far along I am. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to show some of this forest timbering or whatever. Right after that pond, which is called Prang Pond by the way, you go through a, just a little bit of woods and then you come out onto this road that's just been demolished. I mean they knocked over the trail sign and it's just all this. I've been walking on this this ridge for uh, I don't know how long and and there's blazes you know so this is the trail and they just decided that oh we gotta take trees from here because there's no other trees you know so I've been looking at this for about a mile just just smashed and destroyed I mean it's just they're not even look knocked over they're not they cut them down and didn't even take them away you know I mean half of them are you know have huge stumps some of them have little stumps it's just crazy I don't understand how that works but but yet it's supposed to be you know good for the forest you know but you can see that there <clears throat> you know no care was taken you know I mean it just there's just there's crap laying everywhere look at all this you can't quite see it because of the shadows and the sun but I mean there's just huge trees just laying you know, so it's like, okay, are you taking those away, or they're supposed to rot, or, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but maybe I don't know enough about it. I guess I will say that, that that's possible. That, you know, but anyways, I just wanted to get a little bit of it on film. Uh, heading toward, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, heading toward uh, Yellowwood Lake and uh, State Forest Office and the campground. But I don't know. I've got. I, I don't think I can make it the whole way. I mean, I've already done 10 miles. I need to take a break. But I'm not going to sit around this crap and take a break. So I'm hoping something nice will come up. You know, like I, I don't know. I don't. I've never been through here, so we'll see. All right, getting getting kind of weird. Getting loopy. <laughs> Okay, uh, tell you what, <laughs> I am fucking beat. Uh, I'm on a uh, logging road. Uh, I'm just checking in. <laughs> I have just finished probably three straight, you know, green tunnel miles uh, at the after the uh, little ridge there, where the uh, logging was going on uh, at the beginning after praying. Uh, pond um, I took a little nap maybe about an hour sat there about an hour and a half from about 1 30 to 3 and I uh, took a nap made some coffee and uh, got going and uh, just came out of the woods again to this and uh, saw a, uh, a young doe uh, in the uh, 
right here in the uh, right about in the middle of the road there, and uh, I'll put the picture in between the video clips. Uh, I, I got I use the zoom to get a pretty you know small shot, but you can definitely make make her out. So it's pretty cool. I think I got a, uh, that's the s like third one I've seen. I, I got the picture of the first. I got a picture of one this morning on the railroad tracks. But uh, anyways, I am. Uh, I don't know. I think I've got about three more miles to go. Whew. I don't know. Hopefully only three and not four. But um, anyways, I'm going to, you know, 30, almost 31 to the campsite. So, and I'm pretty sure I am uh, about to come up on 28 here, uh, the Jackson Creek landmark. So I'm going to get some water, filter some water for dinner and, uh, and uh, maybe have some Kool-Aid or something. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I got. I feel like I need something, but I don't know what it is. So, and I'm not hungry because I had a huge lunch. So, anyways, uh, my arm's getting tired, so I need to get a stick pick. <laughs> All right, I'll check in later. Okay, um, it is uh, day three. <clears throat> I am underway. It is about 6.30ish. Uh, maybe, maybe quarter till seven. I don't know. I got up at uh, like five minutes after six, so I don't know. It usually takes me about 30, 40 minutes to get going. So I had a cup of coffee, cleaned up camp. Uh, <clears throat> I, got, I took a picture of where I stayed, so I'll, you know, probably have slipped that in the uh, clippage. But, um, I'm thinking today because I am wicked sore. I mean, I am wicked sore. Uh, I'm worried about, you know, doing another 13 or so miles today plus two to backtrack to get to the pickup. I'd like to finish tonight. And uh, I think I can save maybe two miles uh, if I take uh, the road for a little bit here this morning. Start off, you know, a little easier, do some road walking. Um, uh, the uh, trail shoots west sharply and then comes straight back east. I mean, it's just a completely, you know, out of the way jaunt. And I'm thinking about cutting that off at a triangle with a road, so just to save me a couple miles. Uh, I think that's all it'll save me, but still on, on the day, you know, that's, you know, an hour and a half or so, depending on how rough it is. So, anyways, we'll see. Uh, I've got to decide here in about... 15 minutes or I don't know however long it takes me to get down here so we'll see alrighty <laughs> oh this is where I am by the way uh, I'm walking down to the boat ramp at Yellowwood Lake um, I stayed I don't know if you can see through there barely you can see some probably some colors and some tents there's a fire going there's a little bit of red tent there but anyways I stayed right over there um, I didn't have any cash, so I had to self-register, so I will be calling Monday morning and apologizing for not leaving $8 in the box, and I will uh, figure out how to send that to them, uh, to the office down the road here. So I did go down there and register, but uh, I did not have uh, any cash on me. All I had was credit cards. So anyways, uh, let's uh, walk up here and take a look at the lake early this morning. See how foggy it is. There's probably some people coming out to fish, I would imagine, this morning. It is a Saturday morning. Um, it's the day after 4th of July. Uh, but uh, anyways, this is the uh, parking lot for the, uh, the boat dock. And something very cool last night I stumbled upon. And there was one in camp too, but I didn't realize this. I had walked a long way and was worried about filtering water out of the lake. And there's a lovely brass spigot. 
that had cold water in it, so thank you very much whoever put that in there. There's the lake. You can see a little bit. It's kind of foggy. Let's walk down there. Actually, let's not, because I don't want to be in somebody's way if they're boat ramping. We'll catch it. Uh, we'll take a picture here in a second. So, alrighty, I'm going to walk. Okay, uh, here we are across from the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there it is, the Belmont, uh, or no, yeah, we're in Belmont, the Hickory Shades uh, Motel, and uh, here is the, uh, oh, where's it at, well, behind me, oh, there it is, bing, you can see it right over my shoulder, right there. There is our sign. We just came from State Road 46, which is, we came from that way, and we are going this way. So, uh, due to extreme soreness, I have decided to, uh, I'm going to carry on. Um, I'm going to go to the Crooked Creek uh, parking area, which is my original pickup point. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, that was my... Uh, my girl, that was Jane calling to uh, uh, coordinate the pickup here in a few hours. Uh, I was saying that I am going to go to the original uh, pickup location, which is mile 39 point something on the trail, Crooked Creek. It's the last park place that you can, you know, park uh, on the trail. The uh, trail, official end of the trail is at mile 42 at Panther Creek, which is, you know, uh, a couple miles into the middle of Hoosier National Forest so obviously you can't really end there and get picked up there. I was gonna try to go there and then walk back to the parking lot but as I said I am wicked sore so screw that <laughs> I'm gonna uh, make it this last four or five miles and uh, just call it at uh, mile 39 so which for me I started at five that'll be about a 35 mile hike over the last three days so pretty good for my first time out I think so oh here we are at uh, I forget what creek this is I'm not sure but anyways I'm gonna jump off here I need to save my battery in case she calls and uh, oh here we are it's lower schooner road I'm getting ready to go left here alrighty so I'll check in Um, okay, <laughs> I took a uh, took a wrong turn when I was uh, running the ridges uh, up top of uh, oh, I can't even remember the name now. Sorry. Anyways, after you uh, uh, come to the dead end on on Lower Schooner, you um, you climb to the top of a ridge and you pretty much hop from ridge to ridge, you know, the whole way. And I I must have missed a turn because I ended up instead of coming out on Crooked Creek Road, uh, right by the parking area, I came out about a half a mile north of Crooked Creek Lake, which is about a mile, uh, maybe two miles from where I'm supposed to be, so now I am hoofing it down Crooked Creek Road to try to make my 11.30 uh, rendezvous with my ride, so uh, anyways, I'm no Jane will wait, but I don't want her to have to wait if not necessary plus I kind of wanted to relax and make a cup of coffee and all that crap while I waited for her. but anyways oh man almost done I'm almost there uh, I'm probably another three quarters of a mile from the parking lot so and I got about 20 minutes to do that so I might make it but 
Anyways, I'm hoping she'll be a few minutes late, but we'll see. All right. <laughs>